Live with balance questing for the first time in a super long while. Glad to see it. And but what is this? The pebble trough is a sacred place for the village. These aberrations are defiling it. We must purge them immediately. Yeah, this one shouldn't be any harder than, yeah, just Blade of the Nova. They got brown spiders in here. It's crazy. I suspect a, Rasputin no put those things in here. The rat! He wants to destroy our traditions. Not today. Clem and I will be proof. I could not have done this without you. I would be honored if you would collect Clementine's betrothal pebble from the pebble trough. The rat. Foreshadowing? Question mark. Merci beaucoup. Now, if my father speaks truly, I will live happily ever after. Let's go tell him the exciting news. Do you have your pebble then? Good. I appreciate you humoring your crazy old father, Cesar. I know Clementine will be happy to... No, father. It is I who should be appreciating you. It was very considerate of you to come down. Thank you. To be honest, that was not my only reason for coming. I wanted to speak to the wizard as well. I have a new prediction to share. There is something very sacred deep inside this mine. Our people have always known this. Rasputin seeks to steal it, and you must stop him. It's the Borealis gemstones, isn't it? Don't worry, we'll stop him. Come on, wizard. I'll explain about the Borealis gems on the way. Greetings from the Crocus Sphinx, my favorite student. It is time for you to expand your repertoire of spells. Come at once. I don't even know what that would be. I guess an old tutorial tip. There. That is a Borealis gemstone, Ervil's greatest secret. As far as we know, this is the only place in this spiral where you can find him. There are other precious gems here, but the Borealis gems are magical. We never understood their powers, only that they were sacred. We did not touch them until Rasputin forced us to start mining them. My father predicted that he would pay for it. I hope that proves true. This is where we'll start seeing the miners. Pit boss Minoc uses a charm Rasputin gave him to keep the miners glamoured while they work. It's similar to the magic Rasputin used on the Oski. Not quite as perfect, but the miners are almost entirely under Minax control. Ah, there is Lambert. Like Clementine, he was immune to the pit boss's charm, though he's not looking too good now. Let's talk to him. Mind the Borealis. The master needs more gemstones. No time for idle talk. Please, leave me to my work. I am a miner and I must mine. I cannot, in good conscience, leave my fellow prisoners like this. We need to free them before we confront Rasputin. We'll have to face down pit boss Minoc and get the Overseer's charm. Won't be easy, but it's the right thing to do. Come on, it's this way. Did you see that was one of spin-offs game trailer? I did see it. I think it'll be kind of interesting. I might play it, depending on the price. We'll see how it goes. Charm of the Mine. Quest. Charm of the Mine. Yeah, I'm basically just gonna read the wiki for most of this. <laughs> it's not fair! How did we even get stationed down here? These pit fiends have no respect! 
They never let us do anything. Then you're complaining about this. Be careful what you wish for, comrade. Uh-oh. You see? I think we've got trouble. This is your fault. Bruh. <laughs> I bet it's gonna be like 20 bucks for an hour gameplay. Imagine. I'll just have to see what they do with it. Best case, it's something good, but... Can't ever be sure. Okay, I don't think I'll need... More than two feints here. So. Should be I. I'll probably put the feints on first. And then if I get like a free did or something, I'll uh... Okay, I guess the game made that decision for me. Moon spell. Shift Grendel, <laughs> of course. Uh, well, I have storm accuracy on my fame and that, because uh, I just decided to reuse the pieces that I didn't peep with. So, <laughs> I don't think I'm powering that 65 mantle. But oh well. I can dream. Maybe? Nope. <laughs> Tough. It was expected though. It was expected. I gotta get shads like really fast. Oh, uh, I also get nested fury pretty soon here too. I think after I finish the maw is when I can go get that. So I'm excited because nested fury it does mass. So yeah, I'm stunned this round. I got 10k HP, but I'll throw on the second faint. Another shift Grendel, I guess. Of course. Be nice if this could just be the uh, 25 mantle, as opposed to the 65. We're good. I know we can do a 25, a 45, or a 65, so. I mean, I wish there was no mantle at all, but. What can you do? Okay, something over. Playing with does cry. Yeah, I've barely been on. Okay, probably time to get back to my job. Good luck with that. 15k, pretty solid. Okay, I do wish Power Nova got that uh, truncated animation though. That way uh, it wouldn't take years to watch these polar bears just fall over, salute, and die. That wasn't so bad. Perhaps we gave the Gulag guards more credit than they deserve. I suspect the pit fiends will not be so easy. So, you beat the Gulag guards. Good. They finally did their job making a buffer. We heard the scuffle, you see, and we prepared. Yeah, they was just a buffer, you see? Yeah, what he said. Okay, bro. Alright, uh... Should just be the same deal. I was gonna say, cause uh, Gaze of Fate is some meat and trash.
It's it's honestly a good chance I get Medusa first turn. I'm gonna keep it a stack. It probably happens. More. <laughs> Better than a Medusa, I guess. It's only one one round stun. To your luck. You know, I might not actually need the extra faint. I think it'll be I. Right. 10.8k, you know. Maybe I do, but a four pip judge will get him anyway, so it's not so bad. Okay, yeah, 9.2. It'd be like that, but I mean, the judge for four pips, it easily does 1600. I honestly can't wait to be able to train Frenzy. <clears throat> That's gonna be such a good card to have. Quick little 2700. The Gulag Guards were one thing, the Pit Fiends another. But the next is Pit Boss Minak. I will not lie to you, he makes me nervous. For many years, my tribesmen and I wandered the tundra, until Rasputin recruited us to run this mine. It gave us purpose where we had none. I know who you are. I remember you from the Bastille. You seem determined to undermine our efforts. I will not allow that to happen. Not that much health. That's good for me. What does that do again? It's the balance one. You've inspired me to finally quest my balance. That's gas. Balance questing is like... It's definitely one of the harder classes. It's like, as I've, <laughs> as I've streamed and quested through, you know, I've, uh, I've had people tell me, like, why are you solo questing a balance? Are you a masochist? <laughs> but it's not so bad. It's definitely easier on other schools, though. That's for show. Sure. We'll need the last faint. At least you have Nova. Oh, do you, are you still in Arc 1? Ah, that's tough. Yeah, pre-Nova balance questing is, uh... It's no fun. Sandstorm just feels weak. Although, I had, um... I had Lurnia and Hydra. Which is really helpful. I kept it in there for balance bosses, but... And honestly, uh, it was really helpful for when I just needed a stronger hit. That being said, I had to get that from my pet body, so that's a little harder to obtain. And then, you know, train up and all that. Hey, what's good, Menda? Menda 4. I grind monsters, which usually makes up for the damage. Yeah, monsters does uh, usually fix the problem.
That might have done exact damage. How much does he I have? I have never okay. seen <laughs> anyone stand up to pit boss Minak and not get squished. You are even more formidable than I imagined. Now we have the Overseer's Charm. We must simply take it back out into the mine and use it to free the miners. Let's not forget Lambert, too. Oh, dear. That was just miserable. Merci beaucoup, my friend. Well, let's just take twice as long, yeah. The pit fiends were so cruel, and I couldn't say anything. I've got a lot of complaining to catch up on. I was exhausted, but I couldn't stop. You saved my life. Oh, dear. That was just miserable. Merci beaucoup, my friend. I was exhausted, but I couldn't stop. Oh, wow. That feels better. I am so sick of mining. I hope I never see a gemstone again. Does this mean I'm free? Yes, mon ami, you are free. The town has been liberated. You should go up and look for my father. Thank you, Cesar. And you, stranger. You should know, however, that there was a massive Borealis gem unearthed on this shift. The other miners were calling it the Borealis Majoris. I believe this may be what Rasputin was looking for all along. Even now, he has come for the Borealis Majoris. I fear what he intends to do with it. If it is within your power, I suggest you stop him. Borealis Majoris, eh? That's why he needed Ivan's strength. Don't worry, Lambert. I've seen this wizard's magic. Rasputin will be stopped. Okay, so I think this is the Ivan fight. Which I don't think is too bad. But we'll see. I need to get the vanilla ice. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Probably heal up and look at the cheats again, because it's been a while since I've done it. W motherload mine <laughs> free skin. Okay. The secret dock. Okay, so he basically just summons minions. Eh, it's not that hard. Doesn't look to be that bad. Should be good enough to uh, just bite him. Okay. Stop Rasputin in the frigid maw. Oh, I guess I should uh, unlock my level. Caesar walks like a whole G for real. This is the very bottom of the frigid maw. Looks like Rasputin has docked a ship to load the Borealis Majoris. Hurry, we must stop them. Oh, look, Ivan. Your friends have arrived. It's a shame they didn't get to witness your feat of strength and my moment of triumph. You've served me well, strong man. I hate to leave you, but I have everything I need, and I prefer not to deal with this nuisance. They're your friends, so they're your responsibility. I'll leave this situation in your more than capable hands to clean up. Crush them. Yes, master. As you say, Ivan will crush wizard. Then I will most humbly take my leave. Goodbye now, wizard. For both our sakes, I hope this will be my final farewell. Alright, so we'll probably just like blade first round and then faint maybe once and then send the power nova, who knows. Or I guess we'll be fainting turn one instead, how about it?
Damn, he's scald. I think it would honestly be kind of crazy if in uh, the next world there was a boss that tried to scald incendiate you. I think that would be pretty funny. Crazy for real? Yeah. <laughs> it's it's really a missed opportunity that they haven't done it already. So Tip up judge, yeah, it'll probably do nine sixty. <clears throat> it's not that hard. What has happened? I even dreamed that Resputin was his master, and and it wasn't dream, was it? Oh no. What has Ivan done? Ivan ruined everything, just like before. Penguins of Earthville Station are right. Ivan is monster. He deserves to be called Ivan the Terrible. Indeed, you should be ashamed. It was your anger that led you to this. You are scarcely better than Rasputin himself. <laughs> That's not true. He's no monster. Ivan, don't listen to him. Before Rasputin glamoured you, you were protecting me. You were a hero. This is neither the time nor the place for this talk talk. Let's return to the town. We can take the mine lift back up. I'm looking at this and I'm seeing that I have a lot of time before I get nested fury. <laughs> I'm, I'm crying, chat. It's good, Matthew. Welcome to the stream. I am sorry, Ivan. It seems I was too quick to judge you. It is obvious that your intentions were good. Rasputin is the bad guy here. Thank you. That makes Ivan feel a little bit better. Little bit. Ivan's head is still spinning. He will go back to Baba Yaga's house to rest. I am glad at least someone accepts my apology. My words have once again offended Clementine. Why do I always say the wrong thing? Never fear, my son. You will learn to use your words more wisely. I have foreseen it. What's important now is that you give her the pebble. I wanted to, but she told me not to come near her until she cools down. I don't know. Maybe I waited too long. Nonsense! The wizard can present her with the pebble on your behalf. In the old days, that was the proper way. Go talk to her, wizard. <laughs> Ice gold spotted, hell yeah. I hope Ivan feels better. I can't believe Cesar was so rude. I once thought he was sweet. Wait, what? He's giving me a betrothal pebble? He thought of that? Even while you were fighting your way down through the frigid moor to rescue me? I guess maybe he's not so bad after all. Very well. Tell him I accept his betrothal pebble. He can even come talk to me in a little while, if he likes. She accepted it? She'll speak to me again? Oh, this is fabulous news, wizard. Fabulous indeed! You've done so much for the village. And for me and Clementine. There's no way I can adequately thank you. Perhaps just saying goodbye would be thanks enough. The wizard has a great many matters to attend to. I have foreseen it. Tracking down Rasputin is chief among them. We still don't know why he wanted the Borealis gemstones. It's a question even I cannot answer. Go! No, and do not worry about the fate of Urville. A few Gulag guards and watch lions remain, but we will defeat them. I, I have, have foreseen, foreseen it. Yes. I bid you a fond <laughs> au revoir. 
I suppose you will join Ivan at this Baba Yaga character's house. Good luck in all your future endeavors. I guess. W loading screen. There we go. Just have sausage, peppers, onion sandwich with mozzarella. I'm ready to die. No, oh, I'm wishing you luck. Did you get stuck <laughs> in a snowdrift, or are you just slow? The Oski told us everything. He certainly had enough time. As if we didn't have enough to worry about. Now we've got some madman mining Borealis gemstones. Those gems are supposed to be a secret. Malori and I reread every tome here, but we still can't decipher the Auroracle's riddles. Useless Wisp gave us more questions than answers. It's madness! Loath as I am to admit it, I need to consult the Arcanum. Wizard, you'll accompany me. Ivan and Malori can stay here. No fear. I never get to go anywhere. And you're taking the wizard to the Arcanum. I thought only advanced scholars were allowed there. It's not your concern, girl. You can't come. The Oski's sick and needs your help. Besides, I need you to look after the house. Wizard, let's go. Use the snow globe to get to Walrusburg. Then I'll open the world door to the Arcanum. Well, what are you waiting for? Welcome to the Arcanum, wizard. One of the most well-kept secrets of all time. Known only to an extremely select group of spellcasters. Here, the most accomplished scholars in the spiral gather in the quest for knowledge and in the interest of protecting the spiral. It exists in a place of its own, between worlds of the spiral, enabling us to guard against threats both from within and without. All the books and scrolls accumulated in all the libraries are replicated in our repository and can be shared where we deem it appropriate. Now, I brought you because I think you're worthy. Don't go and prove me wrong. What you see here, what you hear here, it stays here. And for the spiral's sake, don't touch anything. Just let me do the talking. Let's just say they may not be happy with old Baba Yaga. Did you see the new Ravenwood prequel? Yes, I did. Looks interesting. Looks interesting indeed. We'll have to see how it goes. Well, if it isn't Baba Yaga, so kind of you to grace us with a visit. H how long has it been? I had forgotten we even had a myth scholar. Don't take that tone with me, Fitzhume. I've had other priorities. Until now, there's been a peculiar confluence of events in Polaris. Oh, really? Let me guess. Ancient beings falling ill, strange people and creatures of shadow appearing, and signs of the end of the spiral? Uh, yes. That's it. In a nutshell. How nope, did you she know? Disappeared. Wait a minute. <laughs> have you been spying on me? Pshaw! As if we have time for that. Don't be absurd. Polaris isn't unique. We've heard the same rumors from other worlds, too. From what I gather, we've made little progress. But of course, no one bothers to tell me anything. Speak to Ione in the Hall of Divination. Pretty close to leveling. Did you see who died today? Listen. At least he can rest easy knowing that his ex-wife's killer is dead. You know what I'm saying? Baba Yaga, you've been gone a rather long time. I resent you, I think. Being unable to reach you in these dark times has been frustrating. You recall my concerns about shadow magic? Well, unsurprisingly, I was right. In fact, it's worse. Started as a trickle, but now it's a flood. We have much to discuss, but first, who is this with you? I'm sure I've told you before, 
New people make me nervous, especially young ones. Young, but an experienced wizard nonetheless. He's looking up at us right guest. now, for real. I believe this one could be a valuable ally to the Arcanum. Oh yeah, shake that, Ioni. <laughs> I'm skeptical, a little irritated even, but all right. Wizard, we don't allow tourists here. You will be an initiate, for now. You must begin by going to the repository to study the Arcanum Creed. That will give Baba Yaga and myself time to catch up. You know, there's all this talk about how secret the Arcanum is supposed to be. Uh, and then there's just... You, you, and you. <laughs> I mean, Kameka makes sense because, you know, she's been here since release, but... How how are you, how are you here? How are you and your magic spinning wheelchair here? How did you find out about this? What are your secrets? And 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 you, you you showed up here like less than a month ago. What do you know? What do you know, Gold Cap? Tell me. <laughs> Can't wait till I get an Arcanum apartment. Oh God. The repository nope. reeks of musty old scrolls and dry binding glue. The Arcanum Creed is engraved in massive glyphs on the wall. To translate each of the glyphs, you'll need to consult the ancient tomes set out on this level. What the hell are those two things? One of them just says, oh, he's back. Okay, how about that? Within the tome, you find a translation for the first glyph. In the order, a spiral. In the order, a spiral. Within the tome, you find a translation for the second glyph. In the spiral, a magic. Within the tome, you find a translation for the third glyph. In the magic, an eternity. <laughs> what the hell is gold cap? Uh, <clears throat> he basically just shows like the badge leaderboards. Within the tome, you find a translation for the fourth glyph. In the eternity, a truth. Together, the glyphs read: in the order, a spiral; in the spiral, a magic; in the magic, an eternity; in the eternity, a truth. After reading the creed. You feel a strong sense of belonging, as if you were meant to be here. I hope that, like, stays there. That'd be kind of nice if it did. <laughs> it's a nice little touch. But yeah, this is just like the badge leaderboards. This guy, I don't know how he has 800 badges. I think there's something like... Like a little over 800 badges that you can obtain, so I don't know, bro. It's crazy out of here. So anyway, this will get me to level 110 at long last. So you managed to figure out the creed. I feel surprise, but not disappointment. Perhaps Baba Yaga's assessment was not entirely wrong. She told me of the troubles in Polaris, and your involvement. All this makes me feel a little queasy, but I admit, it's good you're here. Ahem, much as I hate to interrupt this sentimental moment, there are grave matters at stake. Venkman sent word. She's found the target. Velma von Venkman is our Shadow Scholar. She's tracked down the villains behind the Surge in Shadow Magic, but she can't confront them alone. A wizard is familiar with shadow magic. Perhaps this is a good way to further test our newest initiate and give us more time to chat. <laughs> Indeed, your familiarity with shadow magic makes me feel curious, wizard, but I will not pry. Instead, we will put your talents to use. Take the world door to Avalon and join Velma von Venkman in Calibur. I feel at least slightly hopeful you two could put an end to this scourge. Level 110, baby. Wizard, one of the scholars left a message for you. Come see me and they are canon immediately. Or don't. I honestly don't care. And I can get epic here. 
It's over 9,000, for real. I know that there's, like, the quote-unquote extra credit badges, uh, which basically is, like, you need to do a lot of, like, excessive stuff. <laughs> like, I don't even know where Undead Slayer came from. Or Elementalist. What was I even doing on this character to have gotten this much? I don't even know. Anyway. Yes? What do you want? Oh, that's right, I called you. Hm. Glad to see you didn't overly concern yourself with getting here in a timely fashion. Okay, listen, dickhead. I got your tutorial tip when I was in Ioni's office. I walked out, I talked about badges, and then I said hi. Shut the hell up. Now, I believe I have a note for you here somewhere. Ah, here we are. The Scholar's Lounge is not your personal summoning chamber. Remove your dastardly creations immediately, or clean out your office. Oop, wrong note. Here's your message. Hmm. Ooh, you've been summoned by the Astral Scholar, Quiburn Stelligate. What took you nope. so long? I submitted that service request ages ago. Miss Indoor Thunderstorm next door has created quite the mold situation. Oh, my stars, you, you're not the custodian. You're the new arrival, aren't you? Of course you are. I called for you. Come, come. <laughs> Corporal Fifth Age Wild. Oh, I got more than that. I got a Knight Fifth Age. I don't know why this is 1800, though. <laughs> I had 1700, but you know. Well, well, hello there. As you may have gathered, I am Quiburn Stellagaze, the Arcanum's foremost resident astral scholar. So glad to finally meet you. Sorry for the humidity in here. Apparently, Ioni has no regard for other people's upper respiratory systems. Ugh, speaking of feeling bad, the reason I summoned for you is because I felt awful that I wasn't able to meet you when you first arrived. Actually, I just got here, Kyburn. I think you're good. I just get so wrapped up in my research that I tend to miss things. I swear this whole place could fall into a black hole, and I'd never know. Uh, somebody want to tell him? Anyway, I just wanted to let you know that I have several fascinating astral spells He's that I'd be willing stellar. to teach you oh, if you're God. ever interested. I'll be right here whenever you're ready. No pressure. But I do need to get back to work, so you just let me know, okay? Great! Okay, well... I need this. Run me that. And then... Yeah, I think I have to train Berserk first. So, we'll do that. You already have that spell. Oh, uh, you know, uh, it, it probably just... I have... <laughs> I probably haven't done the quest yet. Is what's going on there. I have empowerment, though. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I got that from, uh, from a different spot. Is empowerment, like, awful in PvP right now? Uh... It went down after the Hydra nerf. But... It's not like, it's not out of the running. Like, this card right here is still in the game. <laughs> so, that is uh, definitely a big part of Balance's identity. The Arcanum sent you? I guess you're my backup. I could have handled this myself. I don't know when the other scholars will start trusting me. I'm glad to have the company, though. I don't know how much Ioni told you, but I've been investigating the surge in shadow magic. You ever heard of a sorceress named Morganth? Yeah, I thought so. She nearly destroyed the spiral meddling in shadow magic. She's not the problem anymore, but the surge is related. I think some of her acolytes, these arachna, have been continuing her work. I tracked them to this place they've been using as a hideout. Now, all that's left is to go in and confront them. Got it? Good. Follow me. Do people use gaze? Not really. It's like, it could be good, but, you know, people, it's not worth using two shads on, is uh, sort of the thing with that. Storm probably still the worst. Fire actually competitive after years. Yeah, I think Storm is still the worst. It did, it did get kind of a buff. Uh, like, you can set up Jin like, real easy now, and Storm Jin is, like, the, the best overtime gambit, just in general. But it still dies, and like, <laughs> it, like, like you can breathe on a storm and it'll die. So it's probably still the worst because of that. <clears throat> Fire. 
I feel like fire, it like it really got buffed well because it's you know sort of like the same thing as storm. It's like their their damage over time gambits are way easier to use, but um, like, we're exposed. I knew Avalon was a poor place to hide. Let us not go down gently, though. We fight to the end. Anyway. <laughs> But yeah, it's like, there's good strats to use on fire, it's just... It's it's sort of like uh, Rat's Law, is what I call it, with the elemental schools. When a buff happens for the elemental schools, like, it's never in a good meta. And this is like a prime example of that, because for right now, everybody is either running like... Some goofy uh, PVE strat, or they're jading, and life naturally counters fire like super super easily. So glad I packed some pierces. So it's like fire. It's finally more viable than it was. Because you can threaten a tree with just about anything, but it's like the counters are better now and much, much more prevalent. Yeah, Shading made a comeback for the 45th time. And that's primarily why I'm not going to be doing Peeve in this meta. It's why my balance, it's why I'm like questing on my balance right now. Like, I'm gonna max this guy. Because it's like, Exalt was fun while it lasted, but it's like, Jading is worse at Exalt than it is at the max, so. Constitution of Rats, absolutely. I wish Fire's Divum gave a protected heal over time. I noticed that it didn't. If it did, then uh, Infernal and it would be much more prevalent. <laughs> the Rat Men Mints, oh god. The big question, where does Ice stand in Peeve now? That's a good question. I want to say they're the best elemental school. But the bar for that is not high. And they they still fold to jades. So it's like barely above fire. Balance is still a nuisance. I'd say the ranking didn't really change much. Why must you do this? Our queen is gone and we seek only to live out our days in peace. Your queen is gone, but her legacy persists. Shadow magic still corrupts the spiral. You expect us to believe you're not responsible? Of course, shadow magic continues to spread. Grandfather Spider is free, along with his children. The spiral is doomed. But we are spurned and know little. Why ask us when the one who released Grandfather Spider from his prison stands at your side? Of course, your wizard friend would have known Grandfather Spider better by another name. He called himself Old Cobb. Hold on. What are you saying? You mean the wizard? Ugh. Wizard? Could we maybe, um, have a word outside? Meanwhile, the rat riding myth and death doing tricks on it. On God. I'm pretty sure, like, from what I've seen, the ranking now is death is at number one. With life at a very close second, uh, death is only above life because it's like there's, there's a bunch of lives in queue jading, and death is just like way better equipped to deal with that. And then Mif is in third, and then there's a big, big gap, and then it's uh, I feel like balance and ice are sort of interchangeable for 4th and 5th place, and then 6th is Fire, 7th is Storm. That's how I see it. Well, I guess there are no coincidences. So you're the one who defeated the Shadow Queen? 
Wow, color me impressed. And it's true about Grandfather Spider? Darkmoor has some scary bedtime stories, but the ones about Grandfather Spider were the worst. I thought all that stuff about Raven and Spider was a myth, but now I find out he's real? It does explain the surge in shadow magic, though. All right, this is bad, that's true, but it's not the end of the spiral. Not yet, at least, right? And of course, this doesn't look good for you. Oh, I should be the one to go tell Ioni. I'll go now. Maybe she'll calm down before you return. That's a myth man, W. <laughs> yeah, I mean, as a myth man, now is probably still a good time to get into Pave. Myths, I guess, placement in the hierarchy hasn't changed. But it's easier countered now, I want to say. Because uh, life is just real good. It's like any meta where life is, like, on top <laughs> is a bad meta. That's sort of the rule here. I feel conflicted. I want to dislike you now more than ever. But if it's true you defeated Morganth, I have to give you some credit for that. Furthermore, there's no time for me to rebuke you. The revelation that Grandfather Spider has escaped his prison changes everything. There can be no doubt that Spider's return is a threat to the Spiral. We must work together and move quickly to find out what web he weaves. I'm pleased to say Baba Yaga has agreed to resume her duties here at the Arcanum. Go speak with her in the Hall of Conjuration. As a Wiz player, I hate the PvP barrier to entry. Yeah, it's it's just gotten worse <laughs> after the spring update. Until it gets good, never even gonna consider getting back. Most likely never. Yeah, they're in too deep. I knew you were trouble the first time I laid eyes on you. I just didn't realize how much trouble. <laughs> Didn't you tell me you were the one who defeated Morganth? I don't know if that's a sign of modesty or if it's just plain suspicious. Don't bother answering! What matters now is you help us clean up this mess. And since I'm stuck here, that means you get to do the footwork. Now that we've confirmed Grandfather Spider's return, it seems clear to me that this Rasputin character is one of Spider's children. The question is, which one of Spider's children is he? Hmm, that might help us figure out what terrible plans he has for Polaris. Xander, the Arcanum Life Scholar, has been studying ancient texts about Spider's children. I want you to go find out what he's learned. Don't let Xander fool you. He doesn't talk, but he has a great deal to say. Come back when you've got something more on Rasputin. Pay versus player, for real. Patience, Initiate. Patience. Questions are only the seeds of answers, and answers need room to grow before they can be harvested. Don't forget Nessie Fury, I have five Scholar Interactions left before I can do that. You wish to know about Grandfather Spider's children, do you? They're a dark brood, to be sure, born out of pure misery during Spider's captivity. Each of them has a true name and form. We're talking about a dark, shadowy nature that they'll probably try to disguise. Disguised or not, the children are driven by Spider's vengeful ambitions. The spiral stands for all they hate. They will try to destroy it. That's the big picture. But you want to know about one child in particular? Talk to our balanced scholar, Jackie Whisperwind. She'll help you. Can't wait for R3 spell events. Yeah. I feel like it'll take them less time to get those out. Because it's just, uh, like... The Scions. And the Shads, so... Ban Basilisk, Nerf Shield Gambits, Nerf Drains, Mechila, less punishing, and Rapier would be seen as a hero. Yeah, it's too late for that. But that would at least be a step in the right direction. So a Spider gave birth to a Bat. And a rat. And a scorpion. Oh, hi. You're the one from Ravenwood, right? I've always wanted to visit there. I hear there's a street called Unicorn Way. I love unicorns. And Pegasi? Have you ever ridden a Pegasus? They're so fast. That's good if you're in a hurry. I'm always in a hurry. 
I get it. And I forget what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, yeah! I'm supposed to be helping you learn about Grandfather Spider's children. I found something. There's a bunch of cave paintings in Zafaria. The ancient Zafarians somehow recorded information about Spider's children. How did they know, right? Amazing. And I wonder how they drew the paintings. Is it really paint or is it chalk? <laughs> it looks like ink, but... Oops, I'm getting distracted. Safaria, look for an archaeologist named Airedale Guthrie. Tell him Jackie will share her secret if he helps you. Bruh. How much risk does Spider have? I don't know, bruh. Only ever had one. <laughs> she talk about she's talking about nothing. <laughs> Made a joke about the portal apparel update and people call it quick, yeah. I hate that they are only gonna run that for a week out of the month. I say you look more learned than some of these other wizards I see running around here. I'm Airedale Guthrie, and it's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, you're interested in the early Safarian mythos, too? Fascinating material, isn't it? I'm doing research for the Royal Museum. Okay. I want you to watch this next part really closely. Think think of the gestures that Nana and Caramel would always make. I might be willing to share my insights. Uh, 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 wait, wait. You're a friend of Jackie's. Oh, of course, then. The cave paintings are just in here. Yeah, uh, I feel like they copied and pasted Nana's hand movements and face movements and then put them on a bunch of the Marleybonians. That's what I'm gathering from this. I was about to go in and study the paintings, but one has come to life and it's quite hostile. If you'll deal with it, well, we have a deal. Cave painting. I question their judgment sometimes. Question their expert judgments. I might be whipping that out in this fight. I think it's just uh, just one boss. Yeah, it is. What's a spell that I don't usually use? I don't know. I would send like a saber tooth if I had it, but I don't. So <laughs> judgment it is. Probably just two faints will do it. Steel pib, I'm good. Maybe I should have packed some more blades. <laughs> it's always scary being this way, yeah. Goofy on uh, cave painting monster. I would probably like pass once and send the temp pepper. Cave I say, for good show, wizard. Come closer now. These cave paintings are sure to be less hostile and more informative. Fascinating, as I suspected. 
These paintings reveal just how superstitious the ancient Safarians were. Not only did they believe an old evil spider was imprisoned underground, they thought his children would someday rise and destroy the spiral. Here we have the Scorpion, a master alchemist and ruthless warlord, prophesied to rise from the desert sands and steal the sun. This, this is the Bat, a brilliant shape-shifting vampire, a master of illusion and subterfuge, and with a heart as black as night. And last, the Rat, eldest of Spider's children, a mad creature of corrupting influence. He steals into men's minds and makes them his puppets. Can you imagine? <laughs> they actually believed in this hogwash. What? What? W was it something I said? That's all you needed. <laughs> all right. Give Jackie my regards. He doesn't know. He doesn't know, chat. He doesn't know. Welcome back. How was Wallaroo? Uh, oh, oh, wait. No, you were going yet. to Zafaria. That's right. Yes. Did Airedale help you? Oh, good. I'll have to send old Airedale thank you note tomorrow. Or maybe next week. Right now, <laughs> I have to maybe find this book week. about spiral astrobiology. Oh, the cave paintings. Yes. You learned about spiders, children? That's great. You should go tell Baba Yaga right away. Now, where was I? Did Bad ever shape shift like at all? There was a little bit of that... In Imperial Part 1, I want to say. It was just for like a fight mechanic or something. I hear you had to work with Jackie. Sometimes hard to follow, isn't she? <laughs> but sometimes there's wisdom in her madness. So you discovered Rasputin's true nature. The rat, eh? A puppet master? That sounds fitting. <laughs> But what is the rat's plan in Polaris? I believe it's the Borealis gemstones that are the key. Why was he mining them? We know they're magic, but what kind of magic? I gave a small Borealis gem to our fire scholar, Ignis Ferric. Go to the Hall of Pyromancy and see if Ignis has been able to glean anything from it. <laughs> this guy passed our canon professor. Uh, personally, I would vote for Tyrak. That's my goat. Ah, the new initiate. Warms my heart to see a fresh face. The other scholars can be gruff at times, as you may have noted. I've been examining the Borealis gemstone Baba Yaga gave me. It's a wonderful little rock. Very rare and very magical. Unfortunately, it's too small for me to really determine its properties. Luckily, though, legends speak of a similar gemstone from Mirage. It's called the Desert Star, once the crown jewel to the first Sand Sultans, but lost long ago. I think we might learn a great deal from it. Kizma, our Death Scholar, is from Mirage. She has been researching the Desert Star's current location. She can help you recover it. It is a privilege to meet you, Initiate. I am Kizma Shaza, Amira of Paraj, and Liwan of the Silent Sabres. You may simply call me Kizma. This voice actress was elite. I have heard whispers of your accomplishments, and I salute your magical prowess. I am honored to help you recover the Desert Star. The gemstone is from a bygone age, when Mirage was united in peace and purpose. Today, it is ruled by petty warlords who squabble over empty sands. It seems the Desert Star was taken from Mirage many centuries ago by ancient Celestian researchers who promised to return it, but never followed through. It was left inside an ancient research lab in Celestia's District of the Stars, where it remains to this day, deep beneath the risen waters. If you go there, I believe you will find the Desert Star. You may then take it to Ignis for study. Stay strong, Initiate. I hope our paths cross again. District of the Stars. This fight's not that hard, I'll say that. 
Love Celestia so much. I would love Celestia so much more if the graphics got updated. <laughs> but I think that's on the back burner a little bit. So yeah, we'll see. Right, it's just up in this little side chamber. There's a jewel vendor? Or wait, the no, that's research what I'm just lab is quiet and still, as if it has remained undisturbed for centuries. I hope this isn't a balance box. Stay back! Oh, okay. You'll God, not it. have the desert star. I may never complete my research now, but I will never give up the gemstone either. Literally just to spite me on God. Like the world looks so cool except for Crustacean Empire, that's real. I was never really a fan of like underground looking areas. Shed. Hello. R2 balance drop rate suck, man. Yeah, I guess we're really bad. Keep it a whole stack. Dark One Farming, I could read a book or watch Hulu. When I would battle him, my time is rewarded for real. But with this, you know, you gotta stay active and keep hitting those cantrip chests, which is just tough. It's like the fact that cantrip chests are just the way to farm is a little bit sad. It's like I never, I never liked that. <laughs> now the best way to catch farming in my eyes must stay glued to the screen, for real. Shrag is honestly a godsend on the balance. It's like once I get nested, it, it won't matter as much, but otherwise, it's pretty solid. Love to see it. I actually feel relieved. All these years I've stayed here. Maybe I should get out a little more. Yes, that sounds nice. How about that? Okay, can I pick it up? There we go. The desert star is cool to the touch, but it radiates comforting warmth. Despite its size, the gemstone fits easily in your backpack. Let's get Greg. 
Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Just finish your bio test. Good luck with that. Good luck with the scores. Ah, the Desert Star! I'm glad you were able to find it. Kizma will be glad too. Isn't it great when we work together to everyone's benefit? Look at this thing, though. Strongest gemstone I've ever seen. Unbreakable. But it's also clear it was fractured from a larger piece. Yes, I'd say it's definitely first world material. Probably broken by the Titans themselves. Seems most of the shards are in Polaris, though. Go tell Baba Yaga what we've discovered. Meantime, I promised to give the Desert Star to Kizma, so she might see it restored to Mirage. Actually so tired, two midterms one day makes me want to kill myself, yeah. I feel that absolutely. It's pain. <laughs> what if I dispel and stun and beguile your shrike? I would I would break your kneecaps, that's what I'd do. So the Borealis gemstones are shards of a larger crystal from the first world? That explains their value, but not Rasputin's purpose. There's something we're missing. I wonder if the Auroracle's riddle holds the clues to this mystery. She said land and sky would be sundered. Bartleby said something similar, yes? It's about Polaris, but what exactly does it mean? Our eye scholar Tarek Hadfield comes from Polaris. He's been trying to solve the riddle. Go see Tarek in the Hall of Thaumaturgy and work with him to get to the bottom of all this. Time is fleeting. Oh, hell yeah. My goat. Finally got around to coming to see old Tarek, eh? That's fine. I don't take offense. I've got a thick hide, don't you know? You're the one who spoke with the Auroracle, aren't you? Amazing, isn't she? Went to see her myself once. It's been a long time since those days. Her words inspired me to leave my people. To leave Polaris. That's what led me here. That's a story for another day, though, don't you know? I've been looking into this land and sky business. Turns out the idea came from mammoth tusk inscriptions made by Polaris's first inhabitants. I've traced the tusks to three caves back in Polaris. I'll mark them on your map. Get the tusks, and I'll translate them, okay? All right, then. Here at the Arcanum right now. I've had a Rorik all my life. Ooh. Yeah, there's still a little that you gotta do, but fortunately it's not that much. Nothing takes long in Polaris, which is very fortunate. Broken land and forlorn tig. Uh, this doesn't take me too far away from that. It did. <laughs> I'm crying. And yeah, this gives pretty close to a million XP, so I will level up from it. How about that? There's your solo Baba Yaga? Uh, a while back, yeah. I had to, like, faint twice. Or no, I, I had to faint three times, something like that, and then... Basically, I just had to make sure that she was out of the picture before the Medusa minion could get summoned. And I was able to do that. It, uh, it took some trial and error, but I got it done. Not gonna lie, I usually just put Polaris off until I can just binge all of Arc 3, yeah. Polaris is <coughs> just one of those that I've done in one sitting before. The cave smells of dried bones and sad memories. It seems a guardian has arisen to protect the cave's sanctity. But I uh, stopped at level 109 on this character for Pave. So, yeah. Here we've got the mythic fuel. Oh, 
Babiaga and the Rat are like the only bosses I struggled to solo on my myth from what I remember. Yeah, it's like, Yago is real tough. But the Rat is even harder because you can't buff <laughs> without those goofy arm um, minions getting summoned. Sophomore year, I remember just eating pizza and breeze through Polaris on a fire. I had one of those vegan teacher vids on too. Damn. Could never be me, Manga. Power Nova into Judge, if it doesn't kill, which I don't think it does, I think it'll be short by about 400, but close enough. It'll basically be the same as using another feint. Polaris would go so hard on Pirate, it would. It really, really would. Oh yeah, I was short by 72, how about that? Fine with what we're getting, and not surprised after seeing the concept arts. But chances are, I don't know if that'll happen. I feel like it happens eventually, but they've said Krakatopia would be next. I want to say so. That's probably what happens. All right, Polaris drops a million of those <laughs> scrolls. Beneath a thin layer of ancient dust, the tusk is strong and smooth. Strange characters are etched into its surface. I need to play Pirate, yeah. Pirate is, in my honest opinion, it's the better game. I prefer it. It just doesn't get the love that it deserves. Like, some is fine, but I feel like it'll be 1-2-1, one, one, which would be unfortunate, because the concept art is amazing for Croc. Yeah, and I'm hoping that this is also an indicator that they're finally going to start working on a graphics revamp the for Croc. The smells of deep earth and quiet regrets. It seems another guardian has arisen to protect the cave's sanctity. You are the one summoning the guardians, Raven. I just look at Pirate Mushu, for real. And Marleybone. It's like those those are so good. Had better storylines too. Speaking of pirate, wish we had muskets or footlock pistols as wands and rays. Yeah. I feel like it would be a little off brand. With whiz at least, but it could definitely look real cool. Especially with like that uh, that great train robbie gauntlet that was literally just taking us to Cool Ranch. I think that would have been it's like that was a big opportunity. Okay, I'm gonna need to pierce that. Ganon, so I don't think it'll be that off, yeah. It is something that I hope they do eventually. Not really off time, we fought Marley Bunny and some muskets and nobles. I guess that's true. Always room to do it. I guess it kind of depends on what they're going to do for the next world.
apparently fighting grandfather spider as a storm and struggling. Yeah, good luck. That one is tough. Good, Alyssa. Welcome to the stream. We're just doing the thing, questing in Polaris. Isn't this where Spider pops out? Hold up. Oh, it's Ancient Raven. secrets are hidden here, young one. Wise as you may have become, some knowledge may be better left unknown. I have watched you in your travels, and even watched over you at times. But my vision has been clouded of late. Things are not what they were. I can no longer discern the purity of your heart and the truth of your intent, but mark my words carefully. Use this knowledge for the good of the spiral, and my blessing will be with you. But if you do the spiral harm, my wrath will find you. Yeah, the raven jump scares, right? <laughs> it's like she just pops out all sudden, like... She's just mad because, bruh. But yeah. I always liked uh, these little encounters. Because it, like, it adds a bit of lore to it. A bit of depth. It's like, wow, you know. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, what do we do to piss her off, you know? It's like, that's the narrator. Cave of Sundered Seam. No, I saw a wooden chest, so that, uh, that takes precedence. That's my gob and that deer out of that. This one, I think, has the storm boss, so <laughs> I'm probably gonna have to lead with faints as opposed to a blade. The cave smells of old ashes and forgotten fury. It seems another guardian has arisen to protect the cave's sanctity. Only 8,800 HP, so I could probably just do this into a blade and kill. Did not pull the sharpen though, so I just faint again. <laughs> Why not?
Supercharge, okay. Relax. <laughs> Alright, that should be it. Yeah, I didn't ask. Probably gonna have to clear my bag pretty soon. How far have you fallen, child of light and shadow, to find yourself in this cold cave with naught but old bones and ghost stories? I thought you had earned a vacation, but here I find you, working to solve some new mystery. Undoubtedly on another's behalf. You have learned much since we last met, that is clear. But have you been swayed to meddle in ancient matters unworthy of your attention? That's, uh, that's how we met you, yeah. Wouldn't you be happier basking in the warm waters of the Wizard City Commons? I suggest you waste no further time in this endeavor. Not gonna lie, Lemuria is when the game has short fall off for me. I just hate Mandoria. Yeah, I mean, I thought Lemuria was honestly the best world in the fourth arc. Like, uh, <laughs> maybe I'm crazy for that, but. Did you just go over the part where the narrator threatens you for no reason? Yes, I did. Welcome back, Initiate. You look like you've seen a ghost. Perhaps nope. you have. W Perhaps you have. But you got the tusks, eh? I bet these old bones have a fascinating story to tell. What do you say we go ahead and find out then? Oh wow, this is heavy stuff. It reads. At first world's dawn did light and shadow play across land and sky as one, bound by an unbreakable seam of Borealis, never to be undone. But titans in savage fury came, raven and spider spawn. The unbreakable seam was sundered. The first world was gone. Sorrow and void remained, until pierced by Tree's humble song. Raven wove fragments together again. A spiral of worlds was formed. The largest Borealis shard bound land to sky again. The sky anchor was then hidden away on the horizon of Polarian. So the sky anchor's a real thing, eh? The largest of the Borealis gemstones. I'm thinking you should probably go tell Baba Yaga. Scare me for reference. I just finished Polaris like four days ago. Yeah, it's like it's it's just sort of crazy. It's like you see that and it's like oh, it just got real. A sky anchor? Hmm, that's a new one even for me. But it makes sense. If Rasputin destroyed such a thing, it could unravel the entire spiral. The largest of the Borealis shards? So our thick skulled Oski friend loaded the Sky Anchor right into Rasputin's boat! Ah! The only good news here is that it would take a Titan to break it. Lucky for us, the Titans are still sleeping. Rasputin may not be an immediate threat then, but we should still recover the Sky Anchor. Perfect job for an initiate! Go back to Polaris and get Malori. The girls wanted to see the spiral, and since I'm stuck here, she finally gets her chance. You and Malori can track down Rasputin, the rat, whatever he's called, and do what you must to recover the Sky Anchor. Run along now! Why did they add the part where Raven just kind of threatens you? Uh, how much of Mirage have you done? I feel like that's important to, uh, <laughs> to note before really diving into much. I mean, the Hape and Night Forest are great. Badlands and Mandoria kind of holds it back for being one of the best, though. That's fair enough. Mandoria was, uh, not very fun at all. It's about time. I thought you guys had forgotten me. This place is horribly boring when you're alone. But where's my mother? She's back at the Arcanum? 
And I'm going with you? That's... that's the best news I've ever heard! Finally, finally I get to leave this veil! <laughs> no, Nathaniel, I don't. <laughs> what the hell? So what did you learn about Rasputin? Is a child a grandfather spider? The rat? That's gross! Huh? And he's stolen the Sky Anchor? Wow, that's a lot to take in, isn't it? Alright, though. So we track down Rasputin and recover the Sky Anchor. Sounds easy enough. I even got to feeling better and couldn't wait. He went to Walrusburg to look for information. Let's go see if he's found anything. Yeah, actually, before I do that, I can actually do the Nested Fury quest. So that is what I am going to do. You ever play World of Warcraft? Uh, nah. Never really had the game. Alright. Nest of Fury. I'm pretty sure the quest is unlocked now. Story of the Sky Anchor, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I should be able to get the quest now. Aha! A kindred spirit. I always enjoy talking magic with a fellow sorcerer. Say, do you ever feel like you can't really trust your scarabs? Uh... Oh no, not that. What I meant to ask was, do you ever wonder if you made the right choice? Maybe pyromancy would have been better, or thurgy? I do. We have mana burn, Jackie. We don't have nothing to worry about. But that's the advantage to balance, though, isn't it? Oh, I like your ring, by the way. It looks powerful. Hmm, now what were we talking about? It is powerful, Jackie. It took me 80 runs and 80 stone keys to get. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh yeah, the spell! I have a spell I'd really like you to try out. It's some sorcery I've been working on when I'm not distracted. Oh, but I can't give you the spell until you've been tested by the Arbiter Proctus, Sirio Cassini. So yeah, go see Sirio! Have y'all seen that a new game is in the works by Kingzale? Yes, I have. It's it's looking interesting. The type of game is like it's 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 a new type of thing for them. But it, if I try it or not really depends on the price. So we'll just have to see. A well met the young wizard. Fitzhume told me the Arcanum had a new initiate. He said you were unworthy, but he can sometimes be unfair. Eh, judging by your attire, I can tell you have a good fashion sense. And I suspect you have a great magical aptitude as well. We will see soon enough. I am an Arcanum Sentinel sworn to protect the Spiral, but I also serve as Arbiter Proctus, testing initiates. Come in, and I will test you. You look out and wonder, where are we? Where is the library? But your thinking is too traditional. As an initiate, you must let that go. Like the Arcanum itself, this chamber exists in a place of its own. Between, beneath, behind, and beyond the rings of the spiral. Likewise, your success as an initiate depends upon your ability to transcend your knowledge, your skills, and your philosophy. I warn you now, I am here to test the very limits of your magical prowess. I will not pull any punches. I'm um, basically just going to rely on my 34 pierce to get me out of this one. Uh, it is not another mobile game. So, at least they've finally given up that venture. Neat kind of music going on here. I'll say that.
Okay. We'll do one more feint just to uh, ensure. Because I looked on the wiki and he's still got a little bit of resist left, so. Ah, this is gonna do mass, isn't it? Like, this might actually get me low. <laughs> yeah, that's the mass. It's a good thing I blocked. Bro's not cooking the bastard right now. For real. Bravo, initiate! You have proven Fitzhume's assessment was completely wrong. I have no doubts as to your worth and your courage. I will inform the scholars of your success. They will entrust you with greater responsibilities. Arrivederci. Until we meet again. Okay. Back to Jackie Whisperwind. And I can finally get Nest and Fury. I'll finally have a Shad AoE, so. That'll be nice. I might stream for like a little longer. I've been thinking about doing like uh, spell showcases with YouTube shorts. Where I just like cast a spell and explain what it does, that type of deal. I feel like it could be fire. Do you ever forget what you were worrying about and then worry that it was something you really needed to worry about? I do that all the time. Oh, but you dueled Serio and you passed! That is what happened, right? Oh, good. Now I can show you the spell. It's inspired by Polaris, in fact. Be careful with it. Sometimes my spells can be a little unpredictable. Sorcery's always like that, though, right? I love sorcery. Now, where is that Bro. scroll I was reading? Oh, yes, it was good to see you. Come back again sometime. I might have new sorcery spells. Nested theory, baby. Let's go. I'll get rid of the judge for that. So, all right. All night stream? Probably not. I right, did you see... Fairy Queen said 100k? I did. I did. I was there for the watch party Ravenwood Rising. I had the first line in that. <laughs> Those shorts blew her up like damn, yeah. That's what will come in handy when you finally get a shad in three to five business days on God. I mean I've got I've got decent shad rating because of my Mallet gear, so we should be alright. Good to see you, comrade. We have not found Rasputin yet, but he cannot hide forever. Ivan will sniff him out if he has to. Is Ivan sure he's feeling up to this? I hate to sound like your mother, Ivan, but are you sure you're ready to face Rasputin again? Of course. You are a good healer, Melori. Ivan is ready to crack some skulls. We haven't found Rasputin yet, but we may have new lead. Danton's Revolutionary Council has struck deal with Empress. If she helps us find Rasputin, she can remain in palace instead of Bastille. The Empress is not very bright, but she knows something she's not telling us. You should go and question her. Ivan will catch up after. I'll actually be able to finish this, <laughs> the Zeke quest. That should be nice. Ivan the Gale, for real. Yeah, the ice is over here. Goodness, it's such a pleasure to see you again. You're the wizard who exposed that rat of an advisor I had. I'm so glad. As it happens, I have deigned to permit this revolutionary council, Bruh. and they have asked me to help find Rasputin. Wait, I thought you were stripped of power and were now under house arrest. Am I missing something? Oh dear, but such details are so boring. You'll have to ask Danton. He's acting as my personal advisor now. Now where was I? 
Oh, yes. Helping you track down that fiend, Rasputin. I have decided to put my SEAL team at your disposal. Go and speak with Captain Winters in the harbor. He will help you find Rasputin and make him pay for his crimes. Is the water supposed to be Russian or French? I think this is supposed to be like Marie Antoinette, so I guess that would be French. Why is that two coming out? You're my insider source. Not not even Fairy Queen snows. <laughs> it's like production time uh, can vary depending on the episode. All right, stop. Don't tell me you gathered up all them vanilla ice samples already. You did? Why well, aren't you just quick to the point? I should have known that if there was a problem, my wizard friend would solve it. Glad to see you're not just loafing around now that you're out of wizard school. <laughs> Alrighty. Polaris Explorer. Gas. Captain Winters. Why is he over here now? So, you're the operative who's going to neutralize our target? Rasputin? Good. You beat my team, so you have my confidence. The Empress asked us to assist you. We officially report to Danton now, but he's had us working on this for a while. We've finally located the target in the Kataba Ice Block, a secret base floating in the Northern Sea. We'll take you. Is this everyone going? Never fear! Ivan the Great is here! At full strength and fists ready to pound on bad guys! Even if it means riding in boat. Alright, when you're ready to deploy, climb aboard the dinghy. That'll take us to the main ship and then we're on our way. I honestly don't even remember the dinghy being here. I remember it being like all the way over to the other side. Maybe I'm tripping. But, hi. Right. There's a rose that I've got to grab. Forgot where it was. Oh, wait, that's probably up, isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> I'll, I'll know it when I see it. All right, we're here. The most forsaken spot in all Polaris. Far as I know, no one's ever come this far into the Northern Sea. But why stop here? Ivan does not see any secret Rasputin base. Nothing but freezing water and that big ice cube over there. That's no ice cube. It's a floating fortress. Rasputin may have a bad demeanor and despicable hair, but you have to admire his brilliance. The Kataba ice block is not only invisible, it's impregnable too. The only way in is to infiltrate the ice block from the sea floor. First things first. To survive in these frigid waters, you'll need to eat an aqualung fish from the trough. That's right. It's a seal tradition. Wait, is it raw? Oh, couldn't we at least get some wasabi and soy sauce? Well, all right. Always nice to try something new, right? Ah, a snack before mission is perfect thing. Ivan likes this tradition. Mmm, <laughs> yes. Aqualung fish is yummy. Oh, they must have cut the line where Ivan was bored, uh, the body shame in Mallory. All right, we're ready to initiate the mission. We're calling this Operation Ice Bath. We got the whole team here. Lieutenant Snow is our demolitions expert, Sergeant Sleet is our security expert, and Field Specialist Frost is our science officer. Lieutenant Snow is going down to assess the entry point into the ice block. Use a rope to go down and join him on the sea floor. The line of what? At some point in here, uh, it's, I think I think before at least, um, Ivan would say like Malori doesn't eat enough. The descent to the sea floor takes you deep beneath the frigid waters, but you can feel the aqualung fish providing you with an inner warmth. At the base of the ice block, you spot an access grate. That must be where Lieutenant Snow is hoping to gain entry. We really do be swimming. <sighs> I've seen my share of underwater access grates before. 
But I've never seen anything as advanced as this. Sealed on tight. I can blast the grate, but I'm gonna need methane clathrate for the detonation. <laughs> Sorry, the less technical name is fire ice. <laughs> it's actually formed from fish f gases trapped Good in cash. the ice. You should find some fire ice scattered around the sea floor. Fish gases? You mean, no, that's gross. Why does everything have to be so gross? <sighs> Just, uh, hold your nose. It may not be glamorous, but I need the fire ice if I'm gonna blast the grate. Fine, fine. Let's just get it over with. I really do be running through the Kataba ice block. This actually gives a million XP, which is nuts. I gave so much. I will get pulled if I go for that. Hmm. Okay, three. Maybe I can grab this one. Okay, we're good. Seal dialogue is what was going through my head when I was supposed to be learning how sodium potassium form an action. Potential in the neuron gas. You got the fire ice? Perfect. Let's blast this thing! Stand back! Here it goes! I like how this guy sounds like Kronk. What? It didn't work! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Why do I always get stuck doing demolitions on things that can't be demolished? Maybe you make this too complicated. Maybe there is easier way. Stand aside and let Ivan try. Oh, yeah! Take that, you cold, goofy great. Nothing can withstand strength of Ivan the Great. Ha ha! Oh, a one punch? Really? Oh, come on. That only worked because the blast weakened it. That's what I'm putting in my report, at least. All right, status update. My work here is done. You guys are clear to proceed into the ice block. I'm uh, gonna head back up to the boat. Go on in. I'll send Sergeant Sleet to catch up and help you, uh... Sneak past security. How about that? Oh, look what just drifted in. Is this the wizard we were born to be? The master will be pleased when we haul in this prize. So Rasputin's expecting us. All the better. This is the excitement I never got back in the Vale. Come on, let's do this. Oh, these guys have like no HP. Shag age is a 56. I, <laughs> I hope I can just like randomly get a shad. So I can use nested. Ah, not quite. A whale. The sound effects being all muffled is definitely an interesting part about being in underwater locations. like that passage leads up and into the ice block and eventually to Rasputin ready when you are I was hoping it'd be a little warmer once we got out of the water so much for that idea we're basically inside an ice box you just need more meat oh, on your bones you don't eat enough Malori Ivan is worried about you I think that fur coat of yours may help a little bit too just a little bit and I eat just fine thank you very much An impressive door. Ivan is not sure he could break it down, but it appears to be unlocked. Let's see what's on other side. 
Whoa! Hold up there, big guy. Let a security expert handle this. I can open this without raising the alarm. Let's see here. Alert! Alert! Intruders must decontaminate Moon Pool Chamber. That did like nothing. Well, I just didn't crit on that first one. All right. So maybe I used too much pressure. <laughs> if that's the only defenses, though, this will be a cinch. We're safe to proceed now. Follow me. Yeah! Pesky wizard found us after all. Master is right again. <laughs> I must go and tell him. Restrain them until I return. Ooh. I got the shad. First time sending it. Okay. He really okay dude okay he really had to sandbag it like that hey they fire <laughs> at least it's a guild unbuffed like that's good Seems we haven't managed to elude security as well as I hoped. Nothing for it now but to keep moving. Come on! We're right behind you. Wizard, you can bring up the rear this time. Well, that is that 1 million XP quest done. Sweet Cyclops! Will you look at this place? It looks like Rasputin's using the Borealis crystals to make golems. But what? I thought Rasputin was just searching for the Sky Anchor gemstone. Something about this isn't adding up. I'll say. I'm out of my depth here. I'm not a science officer. I'll use this snow globe to head back and send Specialist Frost. Meantime, we should gather some crystal cores from the golems to study. I'll stay by the snow globe. You and Ivan can get the cores. And then the flowers back here. I can just, you know, grab it. Okay. <laughs> we good. Oh, these guys have health. I didn't even pull a blade. So that means I'll need to pull a pierce. Or, honestly, I could just power another sandstorm. It's not that bad.
still kill through. Glad to see it. Probably hit uh, level 112 in in-stream. Nice work, wizard. Now there should be some way we can reanimate these and get a closer look at one of these. Step aside, young lady. I'm the science specialist here. It's better if I examine these cores. Hmm. I don't see how this functions. That's because it's magic, not science, fish brain. Bruh. How about you step aside? I have an idea. Hmm. I thought maybe the crystals were powering the golem, but instead, it looks like the crystals allow it to be controlled remotely. Congratulations, little witch. It seems you've figured it out. But this work is crude. I have far more impressive creations to show you. If you'll enter my vault, I'll show you one of my favorites. A tribute to Ivan, in fact. Come see Ivan, or are you scared? Ivan the Great is scared of nothing. Come, wizard, let us enter this vault. If Rat has set trap, let us spring it. The Cold Steel Vault. First time seeing Polaris, my death is only in Avalon. Yeah. Polaris is a pretty fun world. Bunch of you have quite a while ago. Meet Ivan the Greater! Is a tribute to you, Ivan. Without you, I could have never finished my work in the Frigid Maw. I am confident that he will prove true to his name. But we shall see, shan't we? Alright. Shouldn't be too hard. Only 10k health. I guess I'll faint. Might as well. So that'll finish it off. Am I Ivan the Great? I am now Ivan the Greatest! Oh no! How did this happen? I failed him. I failed my creator, my father. Now, he'll never speak to me again. You should consider yourself lucky. He is evil man. You must tell us though. Where has your father hidden Sky Anchor? The Sky Anchor? I don't know what that is. If it is valuable, though, it is in the deep vault. That's where he keeps all his favorite things. More watch lions! Maybe Sky Anchor is here. 
We defeat lions, then I break down door. Oh, we got the shad. <laughs> Did not pull a blade though, so probably just send an unbuff. That's just honestly such like a great spell. That's mass. It's gonna hit Storm. If it does, that's fine. I've got enough Pierce. And Storm does the most damage anyway. It did hit Storm. <laughs> and it did mass. Okay, you don't gotta act like a siren. Oh, on second thought, <clears throat> this door, Ivan might not be able to break down. In fact, Ivan probably cannot even budge the wheel. Did I hear correctly? You need help opening the vault door. I will open it for you. Perhaps this will get my father to speak to me again. <laughs> there, it is open. Ivan the Greater, what have you done? You have been a naughty child. Very well. You have no use to me now anyways. Wait, father. Let me explain. Please. No. Damn. <laughs> oh, Bro's no. got powered up. My big brother. Rasputin is evil man. Poor Ivan. I take it back. He is Ivan the Greatest. We must avenge him. First, let us see what his sacrifice earned us. Let us see what is Rasputin's most prized possession. You enter the secret vault, expecting to find something of great value. But what you observe is not but a humble explorer. I am Jacques Cousteau, defender of the environment, and now, Ironically, I fear, an unconscious agent in the spiral's destruction. Years ago, I sought to find the source of the Northern Lights, and I discovered the Sky Anchor, a towering mountain of pure Borealis. I kept it secret, but Rasputin pried the Sky Anchor's location from my mind. Now, he will destroy the Anchor and the spiral along with it. If Sky Anchor is mountain, then what was big gemstone Ivan loaded onto ship? We should go back and tell Malori about this. This could be problem. Go on, Zen. It is better I not burden your pace. If the vault is safe, I will follow you out to safety. R.I.P. my bro. Wait, is there need to give us a monologue? Oh, God. You will. This is probably where I'll end things. I'll probably finish uh, Polaris on the next stream. That might be... I don't know when it'll be, but <laughs> it'll be uh, probably... I'll see if I can fit it in this weekend. I'll try to do that. When is the next stream? I'll try to do it like Saturday, Sunday, something somewhere in there. So the sky anchor isn't what we thought, and Rasputin is close to destroying the spiral. That stinks. At least you rescued Jacques Cousteau. Remember how we were told Rasputin couldn't break the sky anchor because he doesn't have the help of a titan? Turns out he does. According to the schematics, the golems are just a prototype for what he's building in that chamber over there. It's called the Titan Forge. Hold on, Ivan must have misunderstood. Did you say Rasputin is building a titan? Yep, and I bet that's why he needed the large gemstone you loaded onto the ship in the frigid maw. I observed that Rasputin was building something, but I knew not what. The good news is that I believe his project is still unfinished. Then we must try to stop him. Let us venture into this Titan Forge, wizard. You guys go on. Cousteau and I would only slow you down. We'll come behind after you've cleared the way. Good luck. Hello, Initiate. I'm told to remind you, since you passed Sirio's exam, the other school scholars may have spells for you as well. 
gonna turn in the Eloise quest and that'll be it. I remember in the first part of Hilarious when the penguins took Eons to die, for real. How did your polar rose hunt go? You found so many. Great work as always. It's no coincidence you graduated with honors. You know Zeke vehemently disagreed at the time, but I told him you were special your first day. I guess we showed him, huh? Well, I'm sure we'll meet again in some exotic locale. But make sure you drop in and say hello to the folks in Wizard City once in a while, okay? All right. Thank y'all for watching. I've been Ice Go. All right, Greg's got a question. <laughs> Zeke is evil on God. Should I throw my weekend away doing a stack on battle? Let's go for it. <laughs> but yeah, thank y'all for watching. I've been Ice Go. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a 50 comments for the algorithm. And my Discord's down in the description if you want to chat some more. And I will see y'all later.